StreamerBot, whether you've heard of it and you fell in love like me, or you're brand new and you've never heard of the program before, and you're just a streamer who is trying to figure out an easy way to do cool stuff on your stream, this will help you, maybe. This might help you, maybe. Let, let me know in the comments if it if it does help you. No long ad, no long intro. We're gonna get straight into the content, okay? Just come on over to the Twitch channel or something sometime. Come say hi. Okay, so maybe you've seen my first streamer bot run corner. Maybe you've seen the first streamer bot video, and that one maybe was a little bit too basic, a little bit too beginner, not a lot of information, pretty much just like a setup and what streamer bot can do. And then I posted the second video, and that one there might have been a little bit too complicated. It was a lot of information, and it was kind of hard to digest. I understand this video is gonna be like the porridge just right. Porridge? What even is porridge? I'm gonna do my best to make this video have as much information and be as easy to swallow as possible, okay? So I'm gonna be going over things like setting up alerts, like follow, raid, subscriber alerts, stuff like that. We're gonna be setting up chat commands, similar to like lurk commands or even things like a raffle command if you use stream elements. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to use voice commands to trigger those raffles or even to trigger scene changes or even things like words on stream. I'll be teaching you how to set up channel points, sound channel points, Snapchat filters, OBS filters, voice commands wish me luck i'm gonna do my best to make this video under eight minutes the very first thing we're gonna go over is chat commands nice and easy and i know before you say it i haven't gotten the new update yet sue me it's probably way better they're updating stuff constantly this is such a good program but anyway we're gonna be going right into chat commands the very first thing you would think to do is go to commands wrong we're gonna go to our actions right click we're gonna add an action you're gonna make a group i'm gonna make this one command this is like your folder this is where you keep everything compiled in that's why i have all of this instead of a hundred actions splayed out i only have like 12 different folders use groups i'm gonna name this group video command so i can keep everything kind of organized and this is going to be for a lurk command obviously i can't name it lurk though because i already have one of these so i'm just gonna name it lurk with another exclamation point cool cool video command this is the folder that we just created and this is the action we just created right now this action does nothing because we told it to do nothing right here under our sub actions this is where we tell streamer bot and our action to do whatever we want it to and this is where it gets a little confusing but if you can get through this part then everything else from here on is going to be a breeze right click add action you're going to go down to twitch and you're going to click send message to channel it's going to pull up this going to ask you if you want to set up your bot account or your broadcaster account the only reason that this would really matter is if your bot account isn't subscribed to you your bot account is going to be unable to post your emotes so for me broadcaster is when i'm using my emote and bot is going to be whenever i want my bot to actually respond to messages all right so you typed in your message click okay all done right wrong again you guys catch up all right so we've just created the action now we're gonna go over to our commands list now we're going to add a command whoa we're looking at this you're really confused don't worry i'll explain it all it's really simple right here commands this is what you want the message to display so that when people type the message the action occurs we want this to be exclamation point lurk but remember i already have that so we did the extra exclamation point just ignore that just exclamation point lurk now we want to add our group make this video specific because this is for a video action we're going to slide all the way down to the bottom and we're going to click on the new action we just created exclamation point lurk exclamation point cooldown action will be things if you don't want them to splay on top of each other similar to like a queuing system a global cooldown is so that nobody can trigger the action within the set time if i make it 30 seconds nobody in the chat will be able to do this lurk command 30 seconds after the last person did it i don't use those too often i usually just use user cooldowns so that one person can't continue to spam things so i'll put in like a 15 second cooldown so that way this person and can't spam the lurk command over and over and over again now this next part available this is going to be who is allowed to do the action if i just leave it blank and i don't pick anybody any single person who comes into the chat can type exclamation lurk and the trigger is going to happen if i just want my moderators to use this now this is a mod only command if i want subscribers to be able to use this now only subscribers can use this or you can even go in and give individual users permission if you wanted to do that for those special viewers perfect so now we're done exclamation lurk is going to trigger a lurk command Good job, guys. Oh, High no. five. No, no, no. Look at the elbow. Look at the elbow. 
Perfect. That wasn't too hard, right? All right, so we just made those commands, but we actually want that lurk command to trigger a sound as well as send a message to the channel. So what we're gonna do is right click, add action, and we're gonna go to sounds, play sound. Now audio device, we're gonna select whatever audio device your outputting sound settings are through. Since I'm using a Go XLR, mine's gonna be through a sample channel. You're gonna click here and you're gonna select whatever sound you want to play. And then if it's a little bit too loud, you'll just turn it down with this slider or vice versa. A little bit too quiet, just turn it up with this slider. All done, make sure you save it. Click, click save. I like to save pretty much at the end of every stream, just in case I've made any changes, I don't wanna lose them. Okay, so next up on our list is gonna be alerts, but real quick, I wanna touch on voice control because voice control goes very heavy handed with our commands. Now let's say we wanna create a scene change through OBS. I'm gonna pull up my commands that I have here. Now I actually have a folder called voice command. Now in this folder, I have things like raids, where if I say it's raid time, it will actually post a bunch of messages into my channel. I have voice commands like drum roll, please. And I also have other commands like I've even set up a profanity filter. So like when I say fuck language, I've even made it so I can trigger scene changes. So if I want to switch to my gameplay scene, I just say scene four. I've already begun. Or if I want to switch back to my chatting screen, scene one. I'm already there. And I know that might not be a big deal to a lot of your keyboard gamers because you can just do that with hotkeys, but I am. I know, shun me. I'm a PC gamer and I use my controller. So for me, it's nice to be able to switch scenes if I need to switch to my gaming scene on the fly. Or if I wanna switch to words on stream, scene words. At your service, sir. I can even restart the game if I want to. Restart. And that is super simple to set up. Literally to do a scene change, you're gonna create your command. I just made a voice command folder. Scene one, scene four, scene five, scene six. Those are just my scenes. So I just created all of the scene changes that I wanna create. You're just gonna right click, add action and go to OBS. Under the OBS tab, there's gonna be a section that says set active scene. And then you'll just select whatever scene you wanna change it to following me so now you've created the action for your different scenes and you want to create it as a command or as a voice command so let's go back to our commands real quick we're going to right click add we're going to make this exclamation point scene one now i don't want anybody to be able to trigger this because i don't want my chat to troll me and keep switching my scenes so i'm going to make this only available for my moderators action scene one exclamation point scene one so at any point if one of my mods or myself type exclamation point scene one it's going to automatically switch me to my just chatting scene and now let's say we want that to be a voice command we're going to right click add we're going to name this i just name mine exactly what i want to say so for me it would be scene one and the command would be scene one easy enough now we'll set the action the action we just created which was scene one so now if i say scene one I'm it's going to automatically take me back to my just chatting scene all right bear with me if you're still with me type potato Cool, type, type potato in the comments. So now you're probably wondering why am I a potato? How am I a potato? And how can you make your chat turn you into a potato? Am I right? Tell me I'm right. I'm right. It's actually so simple. It's one of the easiest channel points to create. So under our YouTube video, we're gonna add, this one I'm just gonna call potato. I'm gonna right click, add action, keyboard press. Now you're gonna set whatever modifier that you have set up under snap cam. So now I've opened up snap cam here. We're gonna click on this little star under our favorites and we're gonna click right here. These are all of our hotkeys that we have set up through snap cam. So these are all of the filters I can control on my stream. Cool? So that's the modifier you set here. Control, shift, whatever the, whatever. And that's gonna be your action. Now you wanna make that a channel point reward. You're gonna go over to your channel point reward section, right click, add. We're gonna name it potato, right? Nice and easy, turn me into a potato. Cost, whatever you want the price point of this to be. It's a filter, probably make it like a thousand or something. User input required is gonna be whether or not you want someone to send a message while they do this channel point. For example, I have a clarify your pronoun channel point on my stream. It's one point for like newer people. User input is required because then they can put she, her, they, them, he, him, whatever the case may be. So that way I can put it in their name and I never mess it up. But in this case, we don't need a user input. And then right here under the prompt is gonna be whatever the user sees when they open up the channel point. So I just wrote, turn me into potato. You can change the color of the actual command. If it's a potato. You probably want it to be brown or something like that. And now we can actually set up redemption queues to where one person can only use it a certain amount of times or the max amount can only be used during streams or we can have cooldowns so that people aren't spamming them on top of each other. Make sure to use your groups for folders similar to all of the other tabs. Right here is action. You're going to scroll down and you're just going to click on the potato action that we created. All right, so I know we've already gotten through a lot of information, but I want to kind of get
get a couple more done just so I can show you real quick how to do a couple different things, okay? Because we still haven't gone into alerts or our OBS filters. And I kind of want to touch on that before the end of this video. So under our settings tab here, we're going to go over to events. Under events, this is where we set in our follower action, whisper actions. If anyone does a first word within 12 hours, or we can do within 24 hours or all time, if you want, if you want to just type in a huge number, but usually I do about every 12 hours, which would be every stream. We can set up cheers for bits. We can set up all of our sub alerts for either tiered sub alerts or Twitch prime tier one, two, three different actions. We can do different actions for gift bomb. We can do different actions for resubs. We can do different actions for gift subs. We can set up our actions for our raids. We can set up actions for our hosts we can set up actions for our hype trains all right here all you have to do is create the action and then set it through the events tab it's that easy guys i'm telling you streamer bot is going to make everything so simple everything so so simple and i did want to get into obs filters and shaders and go a little bit more in depth with like the snap cam filters but i kind of already did that in this video so if you did like this video go check this video out because it kind of goes more in depth of what we went through today with like filters and stuff like that Cool. All right, so I hope that wasn't a pain in the ass. That was definitely over eight minutes. There's no way that was under eight minutes, right? Either way, roll the outro. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Stop bullying this poor Billy. I'm not bullying him.